Hi friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Almost a year ago, I made a quilt on the channel, an I Spy Tumblr quilt. And when I was done with my quilt top, I folded it up and put it away. That's what I like to do usually. If I don't have a home for the quilt, I just won't finish it, but I'll have the quilt top. It's much easier to store when it's smaller. So there is a new baby and it's time to get this one finished. So today I'm going to take you through adding the batting, the backing, and the binding, and getting that quilt gifted to someone. So let's get started. The first thing to do is to make your quilt sandwich. I am putting my quilt top on top of the batting right now. If you have eagle eyes, you'll see I have two pieces of batting right next to each other I'm using up some leftovers and I'm using a fusible batting which I don't usually use but once you have all three layers the back the batting and the quilt top you can press beginning in the middle and pressing out getting all that fabric nice and smooth and here is the batting that I'm using this time it's a fusible and it's working really well then I take my darning foot, I put it on my sewing machine, I put the feed dogs down, and I'm going to be doing some loop-de-loops. Here you can see the edge of the quilt has that one to two inches left over just in case the quilt wants to wiggle a little bit. And I have a couple of pins in the corners to keep everything together, just my insurance <laughs> safety pins. I start in the middle, and I do my typical uh, no-brainer quilt lines. I like to do loop-de-loops. That's kind of my doodle. If you uh, take a paper and pencil, do some little doodles on a paper and practice. Maybe yours will be loops or waves, whatever uh, is easy for you. Starting in the middle, I kind of work around and I smooth out the quilt as I go and I'm using a green thread it was hard to decide what color thread but I decided on green that kind of matched the green in the quilt I do like to check the back here and there as I work to make sure that I don't have any puckers I don't want to find out when I'm all done that I had a big pucker somewhere then when I'm all done quilting I take it over to my cutting table and I trim following the edge of the quilt top. I was really happy to find this cute striped fabric in my stash. I think it really adds to this quilt, has the same colorway, and it's just such a fun fabric. I have my quilt trimmed. I'm ready to add binding and I'm cutting strips that are two and a half inches wide the width of the fabric and for my baby quilt I needed five strips. I take it to my machine and with the ends I put them together just like this and then I'll sew diagonally from corner to corner right sides together with uh, this solid fabric it's hard to um, it's a little bit more difficult to know your right side you just have to be alert and make sure that you're putting right sides together then I trim trim those little triangles off I'll press my seams and make sure that they're nice and flat and then I'm going to press this long binding in half, wrong sides together, and I'll press the whole thing. Since this is a baby quilt, I'm going to be adding the binding to the back, rolling it over, and putting a seam on the top. I'm not going to be hand sewing this. Sometimes you put it on the front, roll it over, and do some hand stitching on the back, but 
with a baby quilt and kids quilts they're going to be used a lot and I just prefer using my machine so when I get to the end I sew off I stop about a quarter inch away and then I sew at an angle out to the corner then I fold up and then I fold down right on that seam that'll make a nice fold on the front side when we turn this around and put it on <clears throat> sew on the front start right there and I'm going to go all the way around the quilt and you'll see I'm going to be leaving an opening and you can see that long tail that I left probably 12 inches or so that I I didn't start at the beginning of my binding I left a tail and I'll show you how we're going to deal with that when we get all the way around All right, here's my opening and I think it's about 12 inches I need a little room to work here so I fold it the excess over kind of in the middle and I trim that off and I need to make sure I have a little bit more on that other tail I put a fold right next to where I cut so that they meet and then I take that piece that I cut off which should be two and a half inches and I use that as my guide. You could use a ruler, but this is handy and I know that my piece is two and a half inches and I use that as my guide and I cut that tail two and a half inches from the fold. After doing that, I put the right sides together, situated just like this and I put a pin in there to hold them together. Your quilt has to buckle up a little bit for this um, procedure. <laughs> the quilt kind of gets in the way sometimes to do this, but then I sew from one corner to the other corner. And if you'd like, use a ruler, but it, it really is not an exact science, but a ruler can help you get a straight line there. Take that little end piece get your quilt out of the way it does want to get in the way and then sew along that pencil line and you're going to get so good at this you won't even need to give yourself a pencil line you do this a few times and it becomes second nature <laughs> so before i cut that triangle off i'm going to make sure that i didn't twist anything and everything lays flat and it does so now I can go and I can trim those triangles off and you really do need to pin this down before sewing it together it really helps hold everything in place So sew that opening uh, closed and then we will be rolling the binding to the front side and top stitching. Pin that binding, uh, roll it over and pin all around and then do some top stitching. Go all the way around and we are almost done with our baby quilt. This is a really cute baby quilt. I can't wait to give it to my friends. And it's always fun to sew with you. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time.